Good morning and happy Monday everybody. Hope you had a fantastic weekend. We had a beautiful sunny weekend in North Carolina. Enjoyed time together as a family and just had a great weekend. So I hope you did too. Today we're ready to start our week off really strong. We're going to do some missions around the house, do some home blessings, and get a jump on the week. So the end of the week, we won't have quite as much to do. Our zone this week is our master bedroom. This can also include your master closet and your master bathroom if you have one. Because last week we worked in the main bathroom, that may be different for you. So your missions this week, 10 to 15 minutes in your bedroom area. Today, I want you to declutter your flat surfaces and do a detailed dusting. That means you can move that stuff off the flat surfaces, put things away, get rid of some things, dust it nicely, and then put it back and make it look all fresh and new. If you have a lot of stuff on your dresser, you may need to divide that up. I don't want you to make a big mess and not be able to finish in 15 minutes. So do it a little at a time if you have to. Could be your nightstand's really covered with stuff. Whichever one of those flat surfaces seems to have the most clutter, start there and get it over with. Start with that hardest thing, spend 15 minutes on it, and then those easy things will go really fast later on when you do those. So I know that you want to make your bedroom a place of peace and rest. You don't want to go in there and feel like you're just surrounded by stuff. Think about hotel rooms that you've been in, or if you've been in a rental house where you're on vacation. Everything is decluttered. You have clean, flat surfaces, you have empty drawers, and it feels really good. So I want you to think about that this week while you're decluttering. Let go of some of your clothes, whether it's in the closet or the dresser. Let go of some shoes. There are things you've got taking up space in your bedroom that you're just not ever gonna use again. And I don't want you to feel guilty because you got a pair of jeans in there that doesn't fit anymore, or you're hanging on to a pair of jeans that fall off when you put them on. Let those things go. You don't have to keep three sizes worth of clothes in your closet for the times when you lose weight, maintain, or gain. Just try to keep the clothes in there that fit you well, that you feel pretty in. If you've got some things that you have a goal and you're working really hard toward losing weight, take them out, put them in a box, and put them away. I don't want you opening the closet all the time seeing those things because it makes you feel like you may never get there small steady steps that's all you need to do so take care of your room make it a place of peace for you for your home blessing today we're going to wash our bedroom sheets so you're going to pull off those sheets if you've got a second set go ahead and remake it and wash that set of sheets if you only have one set use your timer so you remember to go back and move those over to the dryer set the timer again so you get them out and you make your bed before bedtime tonight I know you don't like making your bed right before you crawl into it. Neither do I. So if you've only got one set of sheets for your bed, use that timer to remind you to go back and switch them and then get them back on your bed. Dinner tonight for the guys around here, um, they're going to have pork chops and I'm going to be having um, a salad with spinach. I've been eating a lot of raw vegetables, lots of leafy greens, vegetables that have a lot of color. I've had sweet potatoes that I'm using my Instapot for. And it has been really good the last two weeks just eating vegetables. So I feel great, and at the end of the month, I'll reevaluate and see if I'm going to add some meat back. Otherwise, I am making sure I'm getting my B vitamins. I'm making sure I get outside and get vitamin D. And I'm checking my supplements, too, to make sure I'm getting what I need. But it's been a good thing for me to have a break from eating meat. Maybe not everybody can do that, but it's just been a good choice for me to do. I hope you have a great Monday. Jump into these missions. Get them done before lunch today. I know you can do it. And then you're going to feel great the rest of the week as you work just a little at a time and you start seeing progress in your bedroom. I'll see you guys in the morning. Have a fantastic rest of your day.